Here we have a cross-section of the spinal cord. This is much larger than a human spinal cord. So we are looking at the organization of all of the nerve cells that allow you to experience sensation that goes up to your brain and allows you to send commands from your brain down to your arms and legs, for example. So the structure of the spinal cord, you should notice that some of the spinal cord tissue looks white, and this is called white matter. Some of it looks gray, and this is called gray matter. The white matter is the part of the spinal cord where the cells have got a lot of myelin wrapped around their axons. Let's start here in the spinal cord, and there's a little tiny tube filled with liquid that goes through the center of the spinal cord, which is called the central canal. All of this gray matter, it sort of resembles a butterfly. These would be the wings of the butterfly. The body of the butterfly is called the gray commissure, and the wings of the butterfly are divided up into three parts, and they get called horns. So this is the posterior horn, this is the lateral horn, and this is the anterior horn. I usually remember the word horn because it amuses me to think of a butterfly as having horns. So posterior, lateral, anterior horns. Then we have got these white areas. The white areas, each one can be called a fun funiculus, but it's easier just to call them columns. So this would be the posterior column, the lateral column, and the anterior column. Now, over here, we're looking at all of the nerve cells that are leaving your spinal cord to go deliver information to the rest of your body or taking information from your body towards your brain. Ultimately, they're gonna be bundled together into a structure like this, which is called a spinal nerve. But I want you to notice that there are two different areas that are connecting the spinal nerve to the spinal cord. And these are called roots. This is called the ventral root, and this is called the dorsal root. I don't know why they didn't stick with posterior and anterior, but, but they didn't. This is the dorsal root, and this is the anterior, and this is the ventral root. The dorsal root has got this knob on it. This knob is called the dorsal root ganglion. The dorsal root ganglion is where the cell bodies of the nerve cells that are carrying information this way um, are going to live. 